my green on. I got my pocket shank. Y'all probably like, dang, Dayla. You really love that shank. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yo, I know y'all like, dang, Dayla, you ain't been shifting. Tiffany, you got to get you a shank. Especially if you're going to be out here in these shifting fields, man. You got to get you a shank. Preferably passed down to you from someone in the shifting community. What's up, everybody? <sighs> y'all, it's been a long week, y'all. I'm so serious. I just wanted to tap in with y'all for a few minutes. I know we ain't been shifting. It's because it's been t-shirt week. T-shirt week is always hectic. And then Axel was sick. So it was just a lot of stuff back to back to back. But we got all the t-shirts out today. <clears throat> we got all the t-shirts out today. And... Yeah, we travel to Kansas City, Missouri tomorrow, and we're back to shifting. We back to it. We are back to it. What up, Chaz? Don, what up, Spider Queen? Y'all, when I tell y'all we got the best team, Axel is 100%, thank y'all for asking, Axel is 100% better. Like, <laughs> she is back on Axel's BS, <laughs> on her two-year-old bully. Axel is back. My baby's funny, y'all. I'm excited to see the person that she grows into. <laughs> like, she has the funniest personality. Like, she's silly just like me. Never would have thought I would have had a daughter, guys. <laughs> I thought, because I'm the last sprat. I'm the last male sprat. So after me, there's no more. My father was an only child. Uh, I'm an only child. So there's no more Sprats after me. And I was like, God ain't going to not let me have a son. Because why would the Sprats end like that? But sure enough, had a little girl. So I just felt like God was like, look, man, the Sprats had a nice run, man. <laughs> they had a nice run. We're going to end it on a high note with Dalen. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Nancy says, Dalen, question. Have you noticed, does, does whether someone has been buried or cremated make a difference in communication? We haven't talked to anyone that's been cremated during the graveyard shift. We talked to, um, on the, my show, The Ghost Brothers, we did a spirit box. I want to say maybe, but I wouldn't think so. But we're getting to that. That's what I'm going to talk about tonight, too. Uh-oh, Fitzy Fit Fam says she got a shirt today. Daylon sent you a short video of Sloan Bella. Monique, where'd you send it? Where'd you send it? Terry said it's time to have another. No, y'all. We, me and Stacy, done, man. We're done. We're done. We're one and done. So me and Stacy, y'all, I don't, I don't care. I'm transparent, and y'all are family. Me and Stacy had Axel when we were older. So Stacy's already older than me. And um, yeah, I had Axel when I was 36. 36. So yeah, we just kind of bumped up against that age. Stacy was 44 when she had Axel, and I was 36. Stacy's eight years older than me. Stacy's a cougar. <laughs> She's a cougar. She's my cougar. Rawr. But yeah, so we was already at the at the the higher end for Axel. And uh yeah, Axel came out healthy, happy, you know, sassy. <laughs> so yeah. We're blessed to have our one. Yeah, nobody said it's old, guys. No one said it's old. I said it's at the up, the top, the upper level of baby, of, of popping babies out. You gotta realize, Stacy, how old is Stacy now? Stacy, 47. But what, what's the lady in the Bible? <laughs> Had a baby at like 900? <laughs> Ruth? I don't know. I might have just made that up, guys. I don't feel like her name was Ruth. Where's my Bible scholars? Stacy says, hi, Dalen. I got so many ghost stories to tell you. Please come to Ohio. Girl, I'm coming to Ohio. Do you love our, your bracelets? I sent a second set out because I thought they lost the first set. Dolores, heck yeah. Heck yeah. I love all my gifts that y'all give. For sure. 
Sarah. It was Sarah. See, somebody said it was Ruth and somebody said it was Sarah. Who was it? Was it Sarah or was it Ruth that had a baby at 965? <laughs> What up, Chris? I'm going to be in Kansas City, Missouri tomorrow. I'm there tomorrow. Oh, it was Sarah. It was Sarah. Pastor. Okay. Okay. Now. Nope. Nope. We're going to discuss this right now. Everybody in the comments is saying Sarah. We have somebody by the name of Pastor Tina who says it's Ruth. Now, Pastor, Pastor, are you willing to get up on this pulpit, Pastor? <laughs> And fall by the grace of God under the name of Ruth. Because everybody else is saying, Sarah, what you going to do, Pastor? What you going to do, Pastor? Yeah, I love y'all. Gail, I got them t-shirts out. Gail, you know what's funny? I remember packing your t-shirt, Gail. And I'm not even trying to be funny. Because I got a friend named Gail. And I remember this when I saw your name. I said, is this Gail? And I said, oh, no, this is Gail Johnson. <laughs> Christy says, I was having one of those random thoughts today. I wonder if we cannot catch ghosts on cameras because we make the lenses match what the way we see. We wouldn't know how to make it see something we cannot. Christy, okay, but let me challenge you on that. What about cameras when you take a picture and you catch something in the background? How do they present themselves that way then? I'm just trying to offer another. I'm just asking. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm with you, though. I'm with you, though. Melanie says, Dalen, Hensdale House is on your itinerary for July. Woohoo. What drinks and snacks can I bring for you? Melanie, listen, Melanie, it's on the list as a potential. We ain't locked it in yet now. That's the plan. That's the plan. That is the plan. I did see that on the list that is the plan what city is that in <laughs> what city is that in guys where's the hensdale house <laughs> y'all see how melody tried to try to make it seem like i was already locked in <laughs> see y'all almost tricked me <laughs> i was like damn am i going there for real i might be i'm, I'm looking at it. it's in new york okay it's a, it's a, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, Melanie. I'm about, I'm about 80% yes. I'm about an 80% yes. I'm about an 80%. That's very strong. That's very strong. Uh, what? What does this person say? Heathen Mamo, I missed the pregnancy talk. Dang, I've been getting pregnancy vibes from Stacy for a couple of months. Could be starting another business venture, though. There's many different kinds. Okay. Okay, Ethan, you might be on to something, girl. Or, or, or boy. Because I don't know what you are. <laughs> but yeah. Dayla, you going to a funeral? RQI home? I spoke with Chase. You going to the funeral? What? Is, what? Chase, let me find out you out here booking me. <laughs> oh, you said Chaz. You say who is Chase? You mean Chaz? No, it's Chaz, not Chase. Our, uh, what title did we give you? CEA, Chief Executive. I don't know. We're going to come up with a cool title. But Chaz out here booking me, y'all, and she ain't telling me. Y'all don't be sending Chaz no money. <laughs> it's fit. You ship me a quick deposit of three hundred dollars, <laughs> and we'll make sure Dalen get to you. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, hopefully, the Naval Air Station Pensacola is on the list. I did, I did, I did. Chaz did put that on there. So y'all look, we got a whole team right now. We got a whole team helping out, y'all. So I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, Chaz. We got Spider Queen. Uh, Dalen, we're in Ohio. If near, we need to go to Collingwood Art Center. I'm coming to Ohio. That's going to be on the list. That's going to be on the list. Chaz, who who's all on the uh, who's all on the back end team? Y'all know the front end team. We got Ronnie, Spider Queen. You know what I'm saying? Brentwood, but some of them also work on the back end too. 
Patty, thank you so much, Patty. But y'all, they're getting me organized. That is what the graveyard shift has been missing is organization. Because <laughs> it's just been me. So now we have a team of people helping to grow the graveyard shift. So the content that we're going to start pushing out starting in May, we're really starting tomorrow because I'm going to Kansas City. It's going to be really, really cool. Now, my team is about to be very, very upset about what I'm about to do. So we got Karen, Terry, and Spider. That's our back-end team. Karen, Chaz, Terry, and Spider. That's our back-end team. And they're about to be very, very upset. They're about to be very, very upset. Um, but we are about to start doing what we call PTO. That is where I will come to the city that you're in and I will help you speak to a loved one Um with you at their grave but you have to be with me like you have to be with me and we have to be at the graveyard of whoever is the person you want to contact i'm not saying we're gonna contact them all i'm saying is i will come to you and i will help facilitate that interaction the best of my ability <laughs> so we're gonna start that so if you're interested in that i need for you to send an email there go my boy dj high diff what up what up what up um, I need y'all to send an email to the graveyard shift TV at gmail.com. Can we get that put in the chat? Can we get that put in the chat? The graveyard shift TV.com. Spider Queen says you have a document. You should check the email. I, I was going through the email right before I got on. I saw the emails that y'all put back and forth. Y'all doing y'all's thing, man. You doing your thing. I saw the waiver. I want to make a little amendment to the waiver, but you on point. Y'all doing stuff. Y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all doing y'all thing. Sharon, everything is blessed. I'm love. I'm doing really, really well. Sheila, thank you. Sheila, thank you. Thank you. So look, email thegraveyardshifttv at gmail.com with, please title the email PTO, PTO, Paranormal Travel Opportunity. And you're going to let us know who it is you want us to contact, the story behind it. My boy, High Def. Man, I'm chilling, man. How you feeling? High Def is going to make our uh, our theme song, our channel theme song, y'all. We're going to work together to get it done. Yep, the t-shirts drop every quarter. I drop one t-shirt a quarter, guys. So every three months, I drop a t-shirt. But yeah, but with the PTO, please label the email PTO and then in the email, let me know who you are and who's the person you want me to help you talk to and where they're located and all of that stuff. And then our team will get back to you. Um, yeah. So I know we're going to get some emails behind that. So guys. Oh yeah. There is the email. So yeah, we'll get back to you and then I will, yeah, we're going to start picking out people to start with. It's totally free. You don't have to put any money up. You don't have to pay anything, none of that. I'm going to incur all the costs to get to you. Um, and this was, was in the waiver that I want to change. I'm going to edit the video. I'm going to film it. I'm going to do everything. So all you got to do is just be willing to show up and be open to communicate. Uh, how about speaking to just soldiers? Put me on the list to do to be on the team. No, can't bring your shank to the base unless you want to go to the military jail. Look, Navy. Look, look, Navy. Why? I, I don't go nowhere without my shank. I don't go nowhere <laughs> without the shank. It ain't been a day since I had this that I ain't touched this. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I ain't gonna lie to you. This might be one of my favorite gifts of all time. <laughs> I'm talking about above my Super Nintendo, <laughs> above my uh, 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 look, it really might be Axel, <laughs> my shank, <laughs> right here, guys. Axel, Axel Stacy, <laughs> who supposed to go first, your wife or your baby? Okay, we'll figure that out later. But they neck and neck. Then my shank. No, I'm sorry, guys. Wife, Stacy, and eh, eh. my graveyard shift family. 
Because y'all come before my shank. But my shank is a close third, guys. Third, fourth. Depending on who's above uh, Axel or Stacy. Oh, it's, you put your baby? It's, it's, it's your baby? Which one is it, y'all? Is it your baby or your spouse? Who comes first? This is a real question. <laughs> Who comes first, your baby or your spouse? Ooh, we got people saying babies. Babies always first. You right, Krim, the shank for protection. Ooh, somebody says your spouse. Ooh, ooh. This is interesting. Some of y'all love y'all babies. Some of y'all love y'all man. <laughs> Why is it? Is it because you can always make a... I don't look like Diddy. I look like Dayla. Is it because you can make another baby? Or is it because you can get another spouse? Uh-oh. MJ says, baby, because I'm divorced, so it sure isn't the spouse. That's fair. Jennifer says, God first, then spouse. Debbie says, baby, until they're 18, then it's the honeymoon time again. Angie says, baby, cat, husband. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Carrie says, I always heard spouse, but that's hard for a mom. Right? Right? Don says, babies, babies, then babies. Joe says he don't have either. That's okay, Joe. Some people are destined to be a player for life, Joe. <laughs> it's okay. Be a player. Play on, play it. Play on, play it. Diamond. The family is doing wonderful. Axel is doing much better. She's 100% better. Um, Stacy's doing swell. We're doing really good. I appreciate you asking. But yeah, so yeah, y'all make sure you send your emails, PTO, so we can start doing these shifts. So I'm going to come to you, we're going to meet up, we're going to go to the grave, you're going to tell me a little bit about the person, we're going to talk about the story, then we're going to reach out to the person and see what type of conversations have. And it might not work, but that's going to be the beauty of what we do. Every shift is going to be different and it's going to be personable. Maybe we don't contact anybody. Maybe you, you know what I'm saying? Like who knows what might happen? But send those emails. We're going to start setting them up. Our team has been doing great. They've been mapping out y'all's requests, filing them, organizing them, finding other stories that's in the cities where you guys are having these PTOs. So like, we're going to make a lot happen in the next few months. So thank y'all to the entire team again. Because y'all are about to take this channel to heights that like we never imagined. And we're about to go overseas. All of my overseas people, where y'all at? Where can we go? Where do y'all want to see me go overseas? Julie, I need to know when you come to Ohio. We right on 75. Julie, let Chaz know, y'all. We might do Ohio. Ohio got a lot of places. We might go to Ohio next. Erica says, love, love, love. I can't wait to get my shirt. I look forward to seeing more graveyard shit videos. Tell your family I said hello. Erica, I will. You should have your shipping tracking number by now, Erica. If you put in your email address at the time of order, you should have your tracking number. I sent out everyone's order today, except my team. My team, y'all stuff coming in, in a couple days. I gotta square away a couple things. I'm gonna be honest with you. Since I love y'all, man, and I feel like y'all are family. Team, this is one of y'all shirts. They had put some, it's a yellow stain on it. So I got to get it fixed. It was a couple shirts. They got stained yellow for some odd reason. So I'm correcting that for my shifting family, for my team. Uh, Joe, I will tell my family, I said, hey, Samantha, you got your tracking number? Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. Done. Daily, your memory isn't good enough. You need to start organizing these videos by place and time. Done, man. Listen, that's what the team is for, guys. DJ Hi Jeff, I'm waiting on the lyrics for the theme song. What's the name, man? I forgot the lady's name. It's in my email. She sent me some lyrics. She wrote a whole rap <laughs> for the theme song. I said I was going to rap them for y'all, but I'm filming with the phone right. Dang. 
Yeah, I'm filming on my phone right now, guys. I'm going to do it later this week, though. I have not been to the Whaley House in San Diego, but please send it over. Oh, y'all been telling... My bad. I wasn't reading the comments, y'all. What was y'all saying overseas? Where should I go overseas? Where overseas should we go? England. Okay. Can, can one of my admins, can we, can we write some of these places down? England, Canada, Japan. Hold on. England. Chaz, if you're here, can you, uh, can you write some of these down? Oh, Melissa. Melissa is the rapper. Yep. Melissa, I got your email. I read it. I haven't read the second one, though. See, that's how you know I'm reading the email, because I know you sent the second one with an updated verse. <laughs> you sent the second one with an updated verse. Okay, Chaz. Thank you, Chaz. Chaz is getting these places down. Because we were just, me and Chaz was just talking about this. We were just talking about where can we go overseas. Ireland, England, Scotland, Germany, Spain, Italy. Okay. 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 And what do y'all want to see when I go to these places? Let's, let's help me curate this content for you guys. So let's say I'm going to Amsterdam. Okay, what do y'all want to see? Do y'all want it to be vlog style? So it's like getting on the airplane, ch checking out the flight, what the what I'm eating on the plane, getting getting my bag, <laughs> the people in Amsterdam, the life, the like. Do y'all want to see Amsterdam and then get into like the paranormal and the shifting and all of that? Like, what do y'all want to see? Or do y'all just want me to just go to Amsterdam and just just pop up and do a shift in a cemetery like do y'all want to see the city and all of that Got you got you got you all right. I got y'all I got y'all Y'all want to do it vlog style get the whole experience. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking when we do overseas And I'm looking to do the first overseas next month guys I'm looking to go next month guys I'm not playing. I'm not playing no more. <laughs> I'm not playing no more. I'm not playing no more, guys. We finna get up out of here. We finna, I'm finna just, everything that we do, the t-shirts, every time y'all buy t-shirts, all of that money goes right back into this, guys. And so we just did this little t-shirt drop. I'm finna take some money from that. That's gonna get me to y'all. Boom. It's gonna help get to us to overseas next month. Boom. We're going to Waverly in two weeks. The last t-shirt drop helped to pay for that. So thank y'all, everybody. Y'all are really blessing the channel. And y'all finna get us out of here. We finna, we, finna, we finna hit the road, Jack. We finna hit the road. But the only thing I'm concerned about going overseas is just like, all right, Say we do. Y'all say go to Japan, right? Cool. I go to Japan. How do we shift in a non-English speaking country? What are we doing? What are we doing? Like, how does that work? Okay, Anita said a translator. Anita said a translator. Okay. Okay. Maybe, okay, how do we, maybe we connect with someone when we go overseas. We got to find, I'm sure every country probably has like some sort of paranormal society, club, organization, somebody. Maybe we connect with somebody over there Cause me, I was just gonna go. I was just gonna pop up. Me, what can we call the shank? We, the shank needs a name, guys. Do we like the shank or do we want to give it a name? Like Roscoe. Does he look? Does he look like a Roscoe? What y'all want to call it? No, Hunter Gabriola. We can't call it pocket knife. <laughs> 
Ooh, I like Stabby. <laughs> Joe, I like, ooh, Pokey. <laughs> Do y'all want to call it Pokey or Stabby? <laughs> Somebody said the shifter shack. Do y'all like Pokey or Stabby <laughs> for our shifter shank? All right, Joe. I think we might go with Pokey. <laughs> we might go with Pokey. But yeah, it's just going to be me and Pokey, y'all. It's just going to be me and Pokey. So I might need to try to get somebody that knows the paranormal in these places. We got to find somebody, y'all. That's what I need y'all help. I'm going to need y'all's help. Cindy says, hello, Mr. Dalen Spratt. I finally got on the live. I so enjoy watching you on your spiritual graveyard shifts. You have such a beautiful soul and a lovely family. Cindy, that's how you sound in my head. That's how, that's how you sound like you just cook a, you cook a mean apple pie. A mean apple pie. Cindy, you're so nice. I don't even know. Cindy might be mean as hell, y'all. <laughs> Cindy might be mean as hell. What y'all talking about? Alcatraz. Alcatraz, for sure. Jack Osborne. I can definitely reach out to my boy Jack. Janelle, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Or is that Janelle? Janelle Bartley? How you living? Joe says they, they will run you out of town with that little knife. Get a big knife. That right there ain't gonna get it. Joe, listen. Don't you ever underestimate Pokey. Don't you ever underestimate Pokey. Pokey been around for a minute. Don't you ever underestimate Pokey. I gotta get swift with it. My, my, my draw ain't fast enough yet, guys. It ain't fast enough yet. I gotta, I gotta keep it ready so I can see, see, see. I be the guy stab. I be the guy beat up trying to do all that. There you go. There go Pokey. <laughs> there go old Pokey. You know what? I thought about that. Somebody said, "Will Chip be on the Zoom?" I thought about that, guys. I really thought about that. I think I will. Once we start doing the Zooms, I think I will start bringing in people like other paranormal talent, so y'all can talk to them and see them. Danielle says that's why you get a switchblade. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Pokey a little, Pokey a little shifty on the come out. Pokey need to be greased up a little bit. I need that pop to be a little bit more fluid. That, it, that come with practice. That come with practice. Everybody that's ever held a shank know that comes with practice. Sharon says call it switch or blade. Missy, you are late, Missy. So come in here and sit your tail down and don't touch nothing. You're right, Sharon. I need to learn how to sharpen Pokey. Pokey got it. I got to learn how to sharpen Pokey. Just in case. Run it. Thank you. We're going to put you on on the Zoom too, y'all. We're going to put you on on the Zoom. All my little friends going to be on the Zoom, man. Stacy had a really good suggestion. I was like, and that's why I married your little big head itself. She said, because y'all know me and her do Ghosted and Roasted. Matter of fact, if you haven't been to my Ghosted and Roasted page, please go check out videos. The plan is to drop a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that's where me and my wife review some of the most scariest videos on the planet. And we uh, either make fun of them or we talk about how real they are. But Stacy said we should start doing maybe once a week. Or once every couple weeks, we bring in one of you guys. So you guys come in. We'll send you the link. Here's the link. Here's Ghost of the Roasted right here, guys. Boop. Y'all check out that channel when you get a chance. But we'll send you the, uh, yeah, we'll bring in one of the viewers. So it'll be me and Stacy, and then one of y'all. <laughs> and we'll be reviewing the videos together. You put your input in. Yeah. So maybe once a week, we'll bring in a viewer. To get y'all involved. I was like, Stacy, that's actually, you really, 
You enjoy this, don't you, Stacey? You come up with great ideas and stuff. So, yeah, y'all make sure you tune in to Ghost of the Roasted. For sure. Candace says, my five-year-old is so funny. She says she loves your voice laying here going to bed. Aw. Tip, put the, put the phone up to, put the, Candace, put the phone up to your daughter's ear. Or is it your son? Or is it your daughter? Put your daughter, put the phone up to her ear. I'm gonna sing, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing her a, a lullaby. Or does she want a bedtime, a bedtime story? <laughs> I'm gonna sing her a lullaby. <clears throat> Sweet dream. <clears throat> Sweet dream. From Uncle David. Love, love, love. There you go. I even sing to your babies, y'all. I sing to your babies. <laughs> y'all, what y'all doing? Thank you for telling my granddaughter happy 14th birthday. Melanie, listen, tell your grandbaby happy 15th birthday next year from me, too. We can get it, we can get, we can get it going early. <laughs> y'all. I love y'all. Y'all make my day. And I just really want to tell y'all I apologize for not being able to uh, shift the past couple days. <sighs> and t-shirts kicked my butt, y'all. But I'm back now. I'm back now. I'm back now, guys. Stephanie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We gonna put that money next to, uh, we gonna put this money towards our travels, guys. Thank you for everybody that donated. We're headed to Kansas City, Missouri tomorrow. We're doing Jesse James. We're doing Satchel Page. We are, there's a couple more people on the list in Kansas City, Missouri. What up, Beth? Somebody said I sound a, a bit hoarse. I'm a little congested, guys. I think it's all this pollen that's been kicking my butt in Atlanta. Golly, it got me a little congested right here. Thank you for sending healing light, Rosita. All right, y'all. So don't forget. PTO request, email me. Any celebrities you have, let me know. Uh, I need some more. Well, y'all tell me what y'all want to see. I like. I like the way you look at me. I like it. What'd you say, Lynn? I made a comment earlier. If I said something wrong, I apologize. I've been following the channel for a while and I just wanted to show some support. Erica, I need my shift and fix. Listen, we back at it tomorrow. I'm back at it tomorrow. Lynn, don't take it personal. I just don't see a lot of the comments because I can get distracted and just start talking. And like I'm looking at I'm looking at the camera, but I'm not reading nothing that's coming up. <laughs> Cause I yeah, it, it kind of gets distracted me trying to talk and read at the same time. You can tell when I'm reading comments, I do this. I'd be like this. I'd be like this. That's how you can tell if I'm reading the comments. Like right now, I'm reading the comments. What do you say? Exo Simone says, what do you think of all the talk about the eclipse? Man, my best friend called me yesterday, this morning, was talking about that. I don't know. Should we shift? When is that? The 8th? When is that? What's the day? Am I What's the 8th? What day is that? Sunday? Should we shift during the eclipse? Right? Okay. All right. There it is. Locked in. It's Monday. We locked in. We gonna shift, guys. We're gonna shift. We're gonna shift during the eclipse. Didn't we... What happened the last time we did something like that? It was a full moon. Y'all had me take my ass out there to the cemetery. 
and almost had something jump on your boy. <laughs> Trying to be out there in the full moon. Now y'all want me to go out there in Eclipse. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Oh, you supposed to have some glasses? Oh, this is for the sun? Oh, Y'all, I'm tripping. <laughs> Wait, tell me what's going on now, guys. <laughs> Michael, thank you. Tell me what's going on now. Is it the sun or is it the moon that we finna go look at now? Tracy, don't laugh at me. Come to Canada. We got snow today. No, no pollen here. Lord. Oh, it's the sun. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I thought we were talking about the moon. Y'all up here hyping me up. How we gonna shift? Okay, maybe we can shift during the day. Okay. See, y'all over here dropping. I feel like I'm at school, and when I feel like I'm at school, I shut down. <laughs> so, it's a lot being thrown at me in the comment section right now. Dalen, it's a lunar solar eclipse. Well, how about I don't know what that is either. <laughs> lunar, I know. Lunar is the moon. Sun is the sun. Uh, I've been on for 36 minutes. So I have to wear super dark glasses to protect my eyes. You only need glasses if I'm going to look at the sun. Okay, so apparently this is Monday during the day. There's going to be a eclipse. Now, y'all want me to do that? Y'all want me to go shifting during the eclipse? <laughs> okay, all right. Is there a certain time that it happens? Is there a window? <laughs> so it's at 2 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Eastern. Okay, okay, okay. Because I would have had my ass out there Monday night looking for uh... a... <laughs> A solar eclipse. <laughs> Me and old Pokey. But that's all right. That's all right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Maybe something interesting will happen at a cemetery at 2 p.m. in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Y'all gotta remind me. Y'all remind me uh, Sunday. Remind me Sunday on the video that we dropped Sunday that I need to take my ass out there at 2 p.m. on Monday <laughs> with some sunglasses on. Should we go live or y'all want me to shoot a video? I'll go live now. We're gonna go live during the solar. Is it a what's it called again? A solar eclipse? All right, we're gonna go live. Yeah, y'all wanna go live? Bet. Even better. <laughs> Even better. Thank you, Kathy. What? Somebody says, don't forget eclipse glasses. This is a solar eclipse equals sun. Thank you, Donald. So I can't just wear any shades. I gotta go get some specific shades. No special glasses. No, I need some special shades. Y'all, I see no yes in the comments. I don't even know what y'all talking about no more. <laughs> I'm lost. Do I need some blue blockers? <laughs> or what? Y'all, stop listening to me. Listen, let's reset it. Let's reset the chat. Because y'all saying yes, no, no, yes, yes, no. I need a full sentence. Yes, Dalen, you need special glasses. <laughs> or no, Dalen, you can wear some dollar store glasses. I need a full sentence. 
Thank you, Ancient Mood. Need special shades? Yes. Samantha says, yes, you need special glasses. Thank you, guys. Emily says, absolutely, you need special glasses. <laughs> okay, cool. Got you. Next question. Where do I get these magic glasses from? You can get some at the library. For real, Diamond? Okay, Anita said, Anita, you're not invisible, but there's a, like, okay, let me tell y'all something. If you can't read every everything in the chat, I can't read everything in the chat. <laughs> Afterlife Encounters. Thank you, thank you. So if you're looking at your chat right now, and if you cannot read every single comment that's popping up on the screen while holding a conversation <laughs> with yourself, <laughs> Please do not expect me to be able to do the same, guys. So if I miss your chat, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I'm trying. I am nothing but a mere soul with two eyes. And a shake. So, okay. Walmart to go get my special sunglasses. Gotcha. Anita, I'm just playing with you, girl. Don't take me serious. Well, Dayla, I have live stream once with two people, so no hire from me. Anita, don't worry. That live stream is going to double. It's going to double. Sandy, we're not doing a spirit box, so if that's what you're looking for, I apologize. There's over 300 videos on my channel right now, spirit box sessions. I guarantee you have not watched all of them. Tonight is just me talking because I spent all week working with sending out t-shirts. So I was just giving everybody an update. So sorry to disappoint. What else we talk about, guys? I got the special sunglasses. We're going to get some from Walmart. That is the plan this weekend. And we're going to do a live ship. Love you, Gabriola. Stacy, thank you. Thank you to all of our moderators, for sure. Uh, have I thought about doing the Atlanta murders of 1979? Somebody sent that in. Somebody sent that in. Is that the, the, the child murders or is that something totally different? Is that something totally different? Attention, graveyard shit. Rachel, Rachel, Mary, and 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 Mary, Rosa says, make sure the glasses have ISO on it. Got you. Okay, the child murders. I've heard about that story. We can definitely look into that. Someone else sent that in. We're going to look into that too. What does it say? You can make what you need. You don't need to buy glasses. Christine, let me know. Let me know. Susie, love, love, love you, Daylin. Grammy Susie. Thank you, Susie. Oh, would you do DMX Grave? Joe, that's super dope. I would love to. Okay. Spider Queen says she sent the Atlanta stories, y'all. So that's in the email. That's what we're going to do. I just said Timothy's a troll. I felt like he was. Don't worry, guys. Denise says, hey, Dayla, so happy your girls are better. For Kansas, I sent suggestions for the cold blood murder of a family of four in Kansas in 1959. They're all buried together. Where is this, Denise? You emailed it? Chaz, do we have that story? It is four, they were four buried in 1959 in Garden City. Okay, okay. I needed a story like that for Kansas City. Pink, Pink Kitty says, my grandparents, my dad's parents are buried in Missouri. I went to visit their grave and passed away when I was three years old. Oh, I understand, I understand. Afterlife Encounter says, I need advice on paranormal investigation video I'm working on. What's up? What you need? What you need? Lori says, I don't know the girl's name, but in Kansas City, a girl was dug up and was never found. That story was uh, submitted. We're going to look into that, too. So I'm going to try to go to the cemetery that it happened at. And maybe, you know, yeah, that's it. We have that story on the list. For sure. 
What about Biggie? Julie, I would love to go talk to Biggie. Yeah, Sandy, the shifts are coming, but everybody, if you've been here a while, you know, T-shirt week is a hefty week. It took up a lot of time. So literally the past three days, I've literally been packing orders. It's just me. Axel did help. Axel and Stacy helped. Stacy helped a little bit. Axel helped a little bit more than she did. <laughs> but yeah, we back to shifting tomorrow, guys. We back to shifting tomorrow. I catch a flight first thing in the morning to go to Kansas City. And I'm getting right to it. So we'll be back to our video. See, that I knew. I, me and Pokey knew. I should have been going like <clears throat> doing videos every day. Because if you miss two or three days, it's like, you don't even do it no more. <laughs> Dang, y'all. I promise you, we finna get right back to it. I promise you. I promise you. It was just t-shirt week. T-shirt week, I'll just ask you for three or four days every quarter just to let me focus on packing those t-shirt orders. That's it. What else should I got going? Uh, Springfield and St. Louis at the same time. Wonder also if any of the Jesse of the James gang are very close to Jesse. Seth, let me know. Let me know while I'm out there. Let me know while I'm out there. <laughs> they feel that little knife again. Joe, don't you ever disrespect my don't you ever. It ain't nothing little about Pokey. Don't you ever disrespect Pokey by calling him my little knife. You either refer to Pokey as Pokey, Big Pokey. Or the shank. Oh, and then my babies was sick. Exactly, Ronnie. Axel was sick. My baby was sick, y'all. She didn't want to eat for like two or three days. Whew. She's so much better now. Thank y'all. How sitting in my childhood home where a man hung himself in the basement? Where you live at, Satin? That's a story we can get behind now. That's a story that had us coming out there. Lynn, not sure if you remember me, but I used to be a part of the graveyard shifters a while back. My little grandson is named Axel. Hey, Lynn. Hey, little Axel. Exo mm -mm -mm. Simone says, I try to get my husband to watch your other channel with you and your wife because my husband, he does not believe in ghosts, but I do. Do you have any advice for me to say to him? Nah, you got to let people just kind of have their own way with it, man. Some people ain't going to believe. Some people will, some people won't. But you can't really force your, you can't force your eye on them. You know what I'm saying? So it might just be your thing. It might just take for him to experience something. Maybe ask him, maybe y'all go on like an investigation near your city. And you just let him know, like, hey, this is something I'm interested in. Would you mind coming out on an investigation with me? Just so your wife ain't going alone to this haunted house. <laughs> and then maybe he will have an experience. I had a guy like that one time before. We was at an event and his wife drug him there. He didn't want to be there. It was at like a jail. He didn't want to be there. He didn't believe in ghosts. Nothing. So we were doing this experiment where you put someone. They stand in like the where the bars of the cell closed. You stand in that little gap. And it's pitch black in the cell. This is an old dilapidated jail. And we were all in the hallway. And his wife was like, Billy, why don't you do it? And he was like, man, I don't believe in this stuff. Like, I'm only here because you wanted me to be here. And she was like, well, Billy, you go stand over there. Y'all, this man stood in the gap of this cell door with his back to the cell. And we had a psychic, a lady that claimed to be a psychic or a medium out there with us. And as he was standing there, he literally like his whole face, he was white, but he got pale. And everybody was like, what? And he was like, there is literally somebody standing behind me. And his wife was like, how do you know? And he was like, I can feel their breath on my neck. And when I tell you, it looked like he literally saw 
a ghost. <laughs> like he left there and was like, I will never, ever again speak ill of this. He was like, I don't know what that was, but he literally said he felt like he felt the person like hovering over him. Like he could feel the presence of somebody hovering over him and he felt the breath like blowing on his neck. And I knew he wasn't lying because he was too gun ho about like his wife just making him come here. <laughs> like it was crazy. So yeah, I say that to say, maybe just invite your partner out and maybe he'll get an experience for sure. Cindy says, Daylin, you need to come up north. There's a supper club not far from where I Al Capone and Babyface would come up north and vacation. They had a shootout with bullets in the wall. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. Michael, what up from Florida? What up? What up? David says, so far, I had no ghosts or spirits touch me. Dave, that ain't bad, brother. Don't be uh, wishing for stuff, man, that you might not be ready for. Good night, Kelly. It has to get warmer. For me to go up north, guys. Ronnie says, Dayla, my husband only watches you and he feels your honesty. Ronnie, tell your husband, man, he's a good guy. And we're putting in a good word for him. We put in good words for Ronnie's husband at the graveyard shift. Do you do you do a lot of Civil War battlefield ghosts? We've done like Civil like war people buried, but we haven't gone to a battlefield. But now we will. Y'all want me to go to Gettysburg? Gettysburg. Mary Mallory says she got pulled from her bed as a teenager and it scared the crap out of her. I believe you. I believe you. Beauty Queen says when you come to Minnesota, you might want to drop by the Roselawn Cemetery and have a chat with Smiling Jack. He's a legend. Okay, let's add that to the list, please. Smiling Jack. Carolyn, get some sleep, Carolyn. We'll be here tomorrow. We'll be here tomorrow, guys. I'm coming to, uh, me and Chaz were just talking about that. I think I'm coming to Corpus Christi next week. Isn't that where Selena? We're gonna, I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go try to speak to Selena next week. Next week, so probably Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm gonna try to go speak to Selena. So if anybody has any stories or any other cool or interesting people that's anywhere around the area Selena's in, the city, please let me know. Please let me know. I have been to Indiana. I have. I might go to Indiana at the end of the month. I might be in Indiana and in Indianapolis at the end of the month. I was just talking to, to somebody about that today. Okay, Julie. Good night, Julie. Good night, Julie. Oh, lastly, before we get up out of here, so we will be back shifting tomorrow. Again, tonight I was just hopping on just to give y'all some updates and let you know that your shirts are have all been sent out. Um, dang. Well, I was just about to tell y'all something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Event. Somebody that can help us put together events. I want to do a six city tour the second half of the year. So maybe once a month, we pick a large city that people can come into. And I want to do enough cities where like a lot of people can get to. So I need somebody to help me plan that out. Like the cities that we go to, I can look on my YouTube stats and see where the majority of our viewers are. So maybe we build a path there and what that looks like. Maybe we do a meet and greet. Maybe we find a haunted location that we can, we might have to invest, we pay to investigate, or maybe we do some shifting in some cemeteries. But like, what does that look like? So I need somebody to help me plan that. So if you are good at that type of stuff, please send me an email at thegraveyardshifttv at gmail.com. Thegraveyardshifttv at gmail.com. So please, yeah, we need somebody that can help put together our first graveyard shift tour. And I would love to start the second half of the year, six cities, let's make it happen. 
And if it works out, 2025, we'll do one. We can put together a whole, like a real tour. I'll bring out celebrities, other paranormal people. But let's start this year with at least like six shifter meetups, meet and greets. At least six. So yeah, if you can do that, please, if you're good at that type of stuff, please send me an email at thegraveyardshift at gmail.com. I mean the graveyard shift TV at gmail.com. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. It's gonna be a good time. I can't wait to do our meetups. Yeah, we're gonna definitely start that. We're gonna pick six cities. Six cities. What did Britt Wood say? I missed it. What'd she say? We're going to end up with a shifter convention. <laughs> right. How dope would that be if once a year we did like a big old convention somewhere? Y'all, don't you worry. We finna make some stuff happen. Because it would be cool. Because like once a year we were doing the Ghost Brothers weekend. We should do a shifter weekend once a year. We pick a really haunted place. Maybe like New Orleans or Savannah or maybe every year is somewhere different. And like we all come into town and yeah, we have a meetup. We have haunted locations. We really tap into the haunted nature of that city. But every year we pick one city and we do our shifter. We do our shifter weekend. Yep. See, I just need the team. I just need the team. Once we build this structure. This community is going to grow, y'all. I want it to be very interactive. The first year was me just fumbling around trying to figure it out. This year is adding on our team with Chaz and Karen and Spider Queen, all those people to get us organized with, you know, all the videos we're shooting. And then now let's get our tour going so we can start meeting each other in person. All right, y'all. There we go. That's shift and greet. I love it. Catch y'all tomorrow, y'all. Pray for me flying to uh, Kansas City. So I probably will go live from a cemetery tomorrow. Uh, I'll do a live shift from a Kansas City cemetery tomorrow. And uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to try to get a video edited that I can get out tomorrow, too. So we back to shifting, Sandy. We back to shifting, Sandy. So you don't be disappointed no more at your fearless shift leader. Love, love, love. Good. See you tomorrow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen for it. You poke your say good night. <laughs> love y'all, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll be going live from Kansas City, Missouri. Love, love, love. Catch you tomorrow.